for a scholastic scrimmage is provided by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. The series is also made possible by Channel 39 School Services participating districts. WLVT-TV presents Scholastic Scrimmage, a weekly program featuring teams from Lehigh Valley High Schools in a contest of quick recall. Tonight's teams are from Bethlehem Catholic High School and Palmerton High School. Your host for Scholastic Scrimmage is Harry Price. Good evening and welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage. We'll meet the teams and the coaches, then we'll begin the contest. From Bethlehem Catholic High School, they're all seniors, Rob Sosinski, Bill Neese, the captain is Frank Kachinash, John Makitka, and the coach is Sister Francis Jerome, Director of Audiovisuals. <laughs> From Palmerton High School, again all seniors, Kathleen Nalesnik. The captain is Steve Costin Bader, John McFarlane, Nick Muniz. And the coach is John Rebeck, teacher of Earth and Space Sciences. <laughs> Channel 39 is pleased to announce that at the conclusion of the series, after the championship contest, the Air Products Foundation will present a $1,500 scholarship award to the championship high school and a $750 award to the runner-up high school. Both of these awards will be given in the names of the two scholastic scrimmage teams. Remember, the answers to the questions on Scholastic Scrimmage require rapid recall of factual information and aren't necessarily indicative of academic training. The rules for the contest are as follows. On toss-up questions, you'll be given 10 points for each correct answer, and 10 points will be deducted for an incorrect response. If you answer incorrectly, then the opposing team will have an opportunity to answer without penalty. They'll receive 5 points for a correct answer in this situation. Each correct answer to a toss-up question gives you the opportunity to answer a bonus question without penalty. Team members may confer only on the bonus questions, and the answers to these questions should be given to me by the two team captains. A buzzer will signal the end of the contest. If it sounds while a question is being asked, the game stops. The buzzer goes off, however, while you're answering a question. You will be permitted to complete your answer, but no bonus questions will be asked. Are there any questions? If not, we'll begin with our first toss-up. We're preparing for a 15-point bonus. For 10 points, which one of the 13 colonies was founded when King Charles II settled an old debt by granting a proprietary charter? Pardon, John. Pennsylvania. Correct. He gr granted a proprietary charter to a well-to-do Quaker, happened to be William Penn, 1681. The answer is Pennsylvania. Here's your bonus, 15-pointer, Steve, for you and the team. Five points apiece. For these questions about FDR, FDR, one of Franklin Roosevelt's first legislative programs led to the 21st Amendment. What did this amendment accomplish? Steve? Equal rights. No, it did not. It repealed uh, Prohibition, which was the 18th Amendment, it had been... Uh, enacted in 1920 or ratified and the 21st was ratified December 5th 1933. Here's your second one. Which of these programs did not get its start during Roosevelt's administration? FDIC, Peace Corps, TVA, or CCC? Steve? Peace Corps. You are correct. It was uh, uh, developed by President Kennedy in 61. Here's your final one. Name any two of the three vice presidents who served under FDR. Steve? Eisenhower and Truman? Incorrect. I asked, name any two of the three vice presidents who served under FDR. Uh, Eisenhower is not. We needed both correct judges. You did give us Truman. He was one. John Nance Garner, Henry Wallace were the other two. Going for a toss-up, preparing for a ten-point bonus. What war was the setting for Stephen Crane's novel? That's Bethlehem Catholic Bill. Civil War. The Civil War. For Stephen Crane's novel, The Red Badge of Courage. Good game.
guess. Here's your bonus, a ten-pointer. Henry Thoreau's neighbor and friend was also a poet and essayist. Who was he? Frank? Emerson. Ralph Waldo Emerson's correct. Going for a ten-pointer toss-up. What state of H2O, H2O, what state of H2O possesses the greatest amount of energy? Palmerton John. Steam. Correct. Or gas. Bonus. It's a fin physics bonus. Suppose there's an object that an object starts from rest with a constant acceleration of 10 meters per second squared. Now first, for five points, what is its speed after three seconds? Steve? 30 meters per second squared. We accept. For another five points, how far does it travel during those three seconds? No response. It would be 45 meters. Going for a 10-point bonus. Toss-up. What is the least common multiple of the following three numbers? Three, six, and eight. Becca, Rob. 24. Correct. Bonus for Bethlehem Catholic. Listen carefully again. It's a mathematical bonus question. It's going to be on the monitor. The two real numbers, X, which satisfy the equation you see there. X plus 2 is equal to 3 divided by X. For five points each, I want you to find the two roots. No, negative three. Frank. Negative 3 and 1. Correct. Toss up. Going for a 10-pointer. Name the South American country that was ruled by Emperor Pedro I after he gained... Palmer and John. Brazil. Correct. After he gained independence from Portugal in 1822. Here's your bonus, a 10-pointer. For five points apiece, are you on a first-name basis with the following people? Vespucci. America. Steve. Amerigo. Correct. Rhodes of Rhodesia fame. Steve? No response. It would be Cecil or Cecil. C-E-C-I-L. He's the British Diamond King who also uh, developed the Rhodes Scholarship. Toss-up. Going for a 10-pointer. How is the word until, U-N-T-I-L, used in the following example? Until the 19th century, this country had no state colleges or universities. No response. Be a preposition used in that way. Going for a 10-pointer. It's on the monitor. It's in art. The dancing class you're seeing now on the monitor is a painting by a French painter who is notable for his many ballet subjects in his art. For ten points, who painted this particular work? The Impressionist Edgar Degas. Another toss-up. Name the pale yellow fluid that makes up about 55% of whole... Palmer and John. Plasma. Correct. It makes up about 55% of whole blood. Bonus. I'm going to describe two important figures in the history of rocketry and space flight. For five points apiece, you identify them. This Massachusetts-born scientist was a pioneer of uh, American rocket science. One of NASA's research and development centers is named for him. Steve? Goddard. Robert H. Goddard. Uh, Goddard Space Flight Center near Washington is named for him. Second part. This German-born rocket engineer came to the United States after World War II. He led the development of the first large United States ballistic missile and the Saturn V moon rocket. Steve? Mance. No, it's uh, Werner von Braun. Another toss-up going for a ten-pointer. For 10 points, I want you to name the cabinet department under which the U.S. Coast Guard is administered during peacetime. Palmer and Nick. Transportation. Department of Transportation is correct. Bonus. Some historical vocabulary. For five points each, identify these terms from the descriptions. First one, the German word for a violent surprise offensive in war. The literal meaning is lightning war. Steve. Blitzkrieg. Correct. An 11-letter word referring to a group of three persons with equal power. Steve? 
triumvirate. Correct. Again, you've got your 10. Again, we're preparing for a 10-point bonus. Here's your toss-up. In what city was Anne Frank hiding when she wrote the diary entries which have become world famous? Becca John. Amsterdam. Correct. She was discovered there uh, in a, an apartment sent to a concentration camp where she died. Here's your bonus, a 10-pointer, Frank. Numbers in literature is the theme of this pair of identifications, five points apiece. First one, how many voyages did Sinbad the sailor have? Frank? Correct. How many pieces of silver was Judas paid to betray Jesus? Jesus, 30. Frank? 30. Correct again. You've got your 10. Toss up, going for a 10 pointer. In 1892, the Russian bacteriologist Dmitry Ivanovsky discovered a disease agent so small it could easily pass through a filter designed to bar the passage of even the smallest bacteria. It's Paul Martin Steve. Virus. Correct. What had he discovered? Virus or viruses? Bonus for you and the team, Steve. Enrico Fermi was the leader of a group of scientists who achieved the world's first controlled chain reaction. For five points each, tell me in what year that occurred first. Steve? 1939. No, it was 42. 1942. On what university's campus did it occur? No response from Paul Merton. It was the University of Chicago. Going for a 10-point bonus. Toss up. Give the two possible roots of the following equation. X squared is equal to 1 divided by 9. Becca, Frank. Plus or minus 1 third. I'll accept. Bonus 10-pointer, Frank. Solve the equation shown on your monitor for all real values of X. It's the absolute value of the quantity 1 minus X is equal to 4. What is that? Uh, five or negative three. Yeah. Frank. Five or uh, negative three. Five and a negative three is correct. Here's your toss-up going for a ten-pointer. An estate tax is the name for a tax levied directly against the estate left by a person's death. For ten points, what is the standard name for a tax levied on a beneficiary's share of an estate? Paul Martin, John. Inheritance tax. Correct, John. Bonus 10-pointer. Five points apiece again. I want you to identify the cities where the following landmarks are located. The Mormon Tabernacle. Yes. Steve. Salt Lake City. Correct. The Old North Church. Boston. Steve. Boston. You are correct again. You got your bonus. We're going to take a halftime break now. With the score at half, 110 Palmerton and 80 for Bethlehem Catholic. Rob Sosinski, during our halftime uh, of the second round, we ask our participants to tell us about their extracurriculars and give us some idea what your plans for the future are. Well, I was a member of the golf team, the ski club, and baseball, and I'll be attending Penn State in the fall. Okay, thank you, Rob. Bill Neese. I'm captain of the cross-country team, vice president of the marching and concert bands. I'm a member of the National Honor Society. Next year, I'll be attending the United States Military Academy at West Point. Thank you, Bill. Frank Kachanash, the captain. I'm the secretary of the marching and concert bands. I play basketball. I'm the president of the National Honor Society, vice president of the student council, and next year I plan on attending the U.S. Naval Academy at Annapolis. Thank you, Frank. John McKitka. I'm a vice president of the National Honor Society. I'm a manager of the stage and video crew. I'm a member of SAD. Uh, I'm involved with the school musical. I'm a national merit finalist this year, and I'm going to go to Lehigh next year. Okay, thank you, John. Thanks to Bethlehem Catholic. We'll go over to Palmerton and begin with Kathy Nalesnik. I'm on varsity basketball. I'm president of the National Honor Society. I'm a member of the Trivia Club, Student Council, the Yearbook, and Phoenix. And I plan to attend college and study in a field of math or science. Thank you, Kathy. Steve Kostenbader, the captain. I'm a member of the cross country and track teams, the ski club, the trivia club, and my plans include going to college for engineering. Thank you, Steve. John McFarland. I'm a member of the Trivia Club, and after high school, I plan to listen, enlist into the Air Force as an engineer. Thank you, John. Nick Muniz. Um, I'm the editor-in-chief for our yearbook. Um, I'm involved with the school newspaper, student council, trivia club, 
and the tennis team, and after high school I plan to attend Penn State for meteorology. Thank you, Nick. Thanks to Palmerton. Again, the score at half is 110 for Palmerton High School and 80 for Bethlehem Catholic High School. Very close contest. Very good contest. We're going to begin the second half of the toss-up. It's a multiple choice toss-up. We're preparing for a 10-point bonus. Here it is. Give the definition of redress, that's R-E-D-R-E-S-S, -E -S, from the following. Does it mean overcoat, reprieve, reclamation, or reparation of wrong? Becca, John. Reparation of wrong. Correct. Bonus 10-pointer. Who created the character Kilgore Trout? Frank? Hemingway? No, it was Kirk Vonnegut Jr. Uh, in Slaughterhouse-Five. Uh, he was the science fiction writer in that particular novel. Here's your toss-up, going for a ten-pointer. With exactly how many other states does Georgia share its borders? Palmer, Nick? Three. Incorrect. It's a toss-up over to Becca, no conferring. Frank? Four. No, it's the answer is five. Uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Alabama, and Tennessee. Toss up. Name the Shakespearean play from which the following line is taken. Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Becca, Bill. Romeo and Juliet. Juliet said to Romeo, correct. Ten point bonus. In what building in England, Frank, is Poet's Corner located? Frank. St. Paul's Cathedral? No, it would be Westminster Abbey. It's a section of the Abbey uh, dedicated or giving a tribute to various uh, scholars and poets, etc. Going for a 10-point bonus toss-up. Name the simple and very common laboratory heat source, which is named after a 19th... Palmer and John. Bunsen burner. Correct. It's named after a 19th century German chemist, Robert Wilhelm Bunsen. I'll describe two portions of the human anatomy in this bonus for Palmerton. For five points each, correctly identify them. First one, this sack stores and concentrates bile. Steve. Pancreas. Incorrect. I think John was giving you the answer, and he meant it. Uh, it was gallbladder. Second part, this flap of cartilage closes the upper end of your trachea when you swallow. Steve. Epiglottis. You listened that time and got it. Here's your visual. Visual and mathematics, toss up. I want to know how long, and first I should say, that the angle at C is a right angle. And you can see that CN is perpendicular to the opposite side there. So I want to know how long is CN? CN is uh, 6. The uh, altitude on the hypotenuse of a right triangle is the mean proportional uh, uh, between the segments into which it divides the hypotenuse. We'll go on to another toss-up, going for a 10-pointer. In 1987, Tibet was the scene of violent protests against Chinese rule. For 10 points, what's the capital city of Tibet? Becca, Bill. Timbuktu. Incorrect. Over to Palmerton. Toss-up. It's Lhasa, L-H-A-S-A. -S -A. Lhasa is the capital of Tibet, which is part of China now. Toss up. Com complete this first line from the poem entitled Evangeline by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. This, the forest... This, the forest primeval, the murmuring pines and the hemlocks. I just wanted primeval. We'll go on to another toss-up. It's a listening toss-up. Listen to the excerpt. segment from the Symphony Fantastique. For ten points and from the following, by whom was it composed? Was it Paul Ducat, Hector Berlioz, Claude Debussy, 
or Maurice Ravel. It's Hector Berlioz, a French composer. He composed it in 1830. Again, Symphony Fantastique. Another toss-up going for a 15-pointer. Evidence in fossils suggests that a land bridge once connected Siberia and Alaska. For 10 points named the narrow body of water, which now... Paul Martin John. Bearing straight. Correct, which now separates them. Here's your bonus, a 15-pointer, Steve. For five points apiece, in which mountain ranges are the following mountains located? Mount St. Helens. Steve? Sierra Nevada. Correct. Incorrect, I should say. Incorrect. The Cascades. Cascades. Mount Mitchell. Steve? The Appalachians. Correct. Western North Carolina. Mount, Aconca Mount Aconcagua. Steve? The Andes. Correct. It's in Argentina, near the Chilean border. You got two out of the three for ten points. Toss up. Going for a ten-pointer. Name the American historian and journalist who won a Pulitzer Prize for the book A Stillness at Appomattox. It's Bruce Catton. Uh, published that particular book in 1953 and won the Pulitzer in 54. Another... Toss-up, going for a 10-pointer. Name the Tennessee Laboratory, which was established during World War II as part of the project to develop the world's first nuclear fission bombs. It's Oak Ridge, Oak Ridge National Laboratory, part of the Manhattan Project. Monitor. Consider the equation, y is equal to x cubed plus 1, which you're seeing there on the monitor. And for 10 points, name by number the only quadrant that does not contain any portion. Back up, Frank. Quadrant 4. Correct. It doesn't contain any portion of the graph of that particular uh, equation. Here's your bonus, 10-pointer. For 5 points each, Frank, express these formulae in qualitative terms. State the formula for finding the area of a triangle. Frank? 1 half base times height. Correct. Give me the formula for the area of a rectangle. Frank? Length times width. Correct. Toss up, going for a 10-pointer. What country obtained a League of Nations mandate to govern Palestine beginning in 1920? It's Palmer and John. Israel. Incorrect. Over to Becca. It's a toss up. No conferring. Bill. Great Britain. It was Great Britain. Yeah. It resulted from the Balfour Declaration shortly before that. Here's your bonus, a 10-pointer. Haiti was a colony of what European country from 1677 to 1804? Frank. France. Correct. Got your 10. Going for a 10-point bonus. Toss up. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways is the opening line of a sonnet by whom? Paul Martin, Kathy. William Shakespeare. Incorrect. Over to Becca. Toss up. No conferring. Bill. John Keats. Not John Keats. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Toss up. Name the country in which the Great Sandy Desert is located. Paul Martin, John. Australia. Correct. Western part of the country. Ten point bonus. Multiple choice. For ten points and from the following, which of these English kings was executed by a revolutionary government? Was it James the First? Charles the First, Charles the Second, or James the Second? Steve. Charles the First. Correct. Beheaded in 1649 because he opposed the wishes of Parliament. Toss up. Going for a ten-pointer. Chronicle means a register of events in the order of time. For ten points, no correcting yourself once you've begun. Back up, Bill. C-H-R-O-N-I-C-L-E. Correct. I wanted you to spell Chronicle. Your bonus, I'm looking for two palindromes, words that read the same way backward as forward. I'll give definitions. For five points each, you supply the palindromes. The first one, a ball or weight hanging from a cord. Frank. A bob. Correct. A small seed as of an apple.
response is PIP, P-I-P. Toss up. Name the capital city of Wyoming. Becca, Frank. Cheyenne. Correct. Ta here's your bonus, Frank. Here's a two-part bonus question on American history for five points each. Who was president when the following events occurred? First one, Texas declared its independence from Mexico in 1836. Frank? Taylor. Incorrect. It's Andrew Jackson. Second one, the Mormons settled at Great Salt Lake in 1847. Frank. Taylor. No, James Knox Polk, uh, 11th president. Toss up. Identify the word which has the following abbreviation. Capital M as in mother, L, L, E, period. Becca, Frank. Mademoiselle. Correct. Here's your bonus, a 10-pointer. What is the name of the character in Richard Sheridan's play, The Rivals, who constantly confuses words that are similar in sound but different meaning? Her name has become a symbol in our language for such mistakes. They, uh, the buzzer goes off. It's the final buzzer. They didn't have to answer, of course. This is Mrs. Malaprop, by the way, is the answer to that question. It's the final buzzer. The final score is 160 for Bethlehem Catholic, 135 for Palmerton High School. I didn't know what the score was. I could tell from the moans and groans that it was certainly one of the better contests we've ever had, one of the closest. Palmerton, we congratulate you. You were outstanding. Uh, Kathy, Steve, John, Nick, we wish you all success in college next year, and John, for you in the Air Force. Uh, Becca, we uh, congratulate you guys. You did an outstanding job. We're going to see you back here again in the third round. It's going to be mid-April or late April. You're going to be going against Reading Central Catholic High School. Next week's contestants will be from Wilson and Penargill High Schools. This is Harry Price. Thank you for being with us, and good night. Scrimmage is provided by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. The series is also made possible by Channel 39 School Services participating districts. Don't